so today i'll be talking on uh, this new topic uh, hyperoxia and its effects in icu and emergency so this talk was given in hyderabad in uh, jan 2019 so just to go to the background i think uh, we need to understand that uh, oxygen that we give in any patient uh, should be in context usually it is in the context of hypoxemia so and typically we give in patient with a myocardial infarction or acute coronary syndrome and i think oxygen constitutes uh, one of the components of mona so m stands for morphine o is oxygen n is nitrates and aspirin so our understanding is in acute coronary syndrome oxygen is believed to reduce the size of the infarct so with that understanding oxygen is routinely given in patients with acute coronary syndrome and in patients with stroke our understanding is uh, there is this area within the stroke uh, which is called penumbra which is a salvageable area and our understanding is by giving oxygen that we will be able to reduce the size of this penumbra and penumbra by reducing the size of the penumbra so there is a favorable effect on the progress or outcome in stroke patients uh, so our understanding is giving oxygen reduces this penumbra size and so the deleterious effects of uh, stroke would be mitigated and we have further understood that uh, giving oxygen in patients with skin and soft tissue infections uh, will also facilitate recovery by inhibiting the release of this reactive oxygen species from the uh, neutrophils or inflammatory cells so given this background considering that oxygen is protective in these conditions in acute coronary syndrome or in strokes or in skin and soft tissue infections so we need to understand that uh, there are a lot of deleterious effects of uh, oxygen so the potential deleterious is effects of oxygen is it can cause uh, cerebral vasoconstriction and that may lead to hypoxemia and uh, the further deleterious effects so i think we have understood that it uh, giving supplemental oxygen can cause cerebral vasoconstriction and that may lead to deleterious effects and uh, so giving oxygen uh, i think uh, can lead to worsening of fibrosis and may delay extubation also so that also has been found and as i said the giving oxygenation causes vasoconstriction in the coronaries also and that may lead to coronary hypoperfusion and that may also lead to bad outcomes so these are some of the deleterious effects of giving oxygen unnecessarily and we do understand that giving oxygen oxygenation or oxygen induces fibrosis and it can worsen acute lung injury or it may induce acute lung injury and there may be atelectasis also that may be induced due to oxygen so these are some of the deleterious effects of giving oxygen so this is in the face of all the assumed beneficial effects in these conditions of stroke or skin and soft tissue infections or in uh, myocardial infarction or acute coronary syndrome